Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. This week's build of the week is a level 72 dagger shadow called Invalesco. His build is remarkably effective, combining quite high defenses with ridiculous bursts of damage. The character has passives from both the shadow and witch parts of the tree. He picked up all of the dagger damage, critical strike, and energy shield passives that he could, as well as two keystone passives. Chaos Inoculation is a skill that makes the character completely immune to chaos damage, at the expense of being permanently reduced to one point of life. It also grants a substantial bonus to energy shield. Because he uses the skill, he has absolutely no need to pick up any life passives, which is why energy shield passives were so important to him. The other selected keystone, Ghost Reaver, makes him leech to his energy shield rather than to his life. Given the way his character is planned, this offers a lot more survivability. The area of effect damage skill that he uses is Lightning Strike, which has been augmented by 5 support gems. Faster attacks, lesser multiple projectiles, increased critical damage, increased critical strikes, and mana leech. This results in a skill that has an extremely high chance to crit, doing massive damage to a group of monsters very quickly. Ghost Reaver enables a skill to leech energy shield at a distance. His close range single target skill of choice is Double Strike. It's supported with faster attacks, increased critical strikes, and melee damage on full life. Because he uses the Chaos Inoculation Keystone, which reduces him to one life point permanently, he's always classed as on full life, so he always gets the damage bonus. Double Strike is a useful skill for a character that has such a high chance of critical strikes, because if the first hit is critical, then both will be. This means that if it applies a status effect like Shocked, it'll apply it twice. The Flicker Strike skill is also augmented by three support gems. Increased critical damage, melee physical damage, and melee damage on full life. This uses the same trick where he's perpetually on full life due to his Chaos Inoculation passive. This build tries to play while constantly under the effect of the Blood Rage buff. There are three important things to note with this. Firstly, because he has the Chaos Inoculation Keystone passive which makes him immune to Chaos damage, he loses no life to Blood Rage. Its downside is neutralized. Secondly, because it grants a Frenzy Charge whenever he kills an enemy, he's sometimes able to chain a lot of Flicker Strikes together on monsters that can be killed in one hit. The final important aspect of Blood Rage is that it provides the life leech that Ghost Reaver turns into Energy Shield Leech. The auras that this character uses are Discipline, Grace, Hatred, and Wrath. All of these are augmented by a reduced mana cost support gem. One of the reasons that this character is so powerful is that he has sunk a substantial amount of time and character wealth into his equipment. Look at this dagger. Seriously, not only does it have a really high roll of increased damage, but it has it stacked with another increased physical damage mod, a damage and accuracy mod, attack speed, and a pretty high bonus resistance. This is all on a level 64 base type, which, due to being a dagger, has a really wide mod pool, consisting of both physical and casting mods. This makes it even more insane. Another good example of a ridiculous item is this shield. It has a good energy shield mod stacked with a good increased energy shield percentage mod stacked with an energy shield and block and stun recovery mod. Then just in case it wasn't crazy enough, he managed to get three decent resistances on it at the same time. His armor has six linked sockets. This is not an easy task. Its mods aren't bad either, with a very large amount of energy shield and some found item rarity. His gloves are the unique Malagaro's Virtuosity, which grants a large bonus to critical strikes and their damage. His amulet also increases both of his crit values. His flasks are pretty awesome. Each one has the Surgeon suffix, so they regenerate a charge whenever he scores a critical strike. This synergizes really well with his double strike skill, because a critical double strike will regenerate two charges on all of his flasks. He has three granite flasks, which grant a large amount of armor for a short time when used. One of them has a prefix that substantially increases the armor gained. The other two instead grant resistances at the same time as the armor. This choice allows him to pick the appropriate flask type for the type of fight he's in. Both of his mana flasks grant percentage evasion, which is more useful than armor because he has a decent amount of base evasion from his items. Overall, in terms of survivability, he has 9600 energy shield, 32% chance to evade, 37% chance to block, and 68% damage reduction if he activates his primary flask. He has almost maximum resistances, which are easily capped if he uses one of his resistance flasks or puts on a piece of jewelry from his inventory. He comments that with the Eye of Chayala and Dream Fragment's unique items, there's no way he could be stunned or frozen. This will be particularly useful in player versus player combat. Path of Exile is currently in closed beta. 
We're expecting to enter open beta in December, but if you'd like to play it before then, then please buy a supporter pack from pathofexile.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching and see you next week.